All right, guys. Welcome back, Doc. How are you doing today? Good. Doing good. Awesome. Doing good. Thank you. Wonderful. I have another question for you from a student on YouTube. Okay. Memorizing old NBME exams, a good use of my time. Hmm. Asking, is it a good use of their time? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've addressed this one a lot. Uh, no. And I'll, I'll give you a reason why. <laughs> Sorry. To There's laugh, advice out there that says memorize old NBMEs one through whatever PDFs offline. And I don't think there's anything wrong with going through old NBMEs just for the sake of exposing yourself to practice questions. But here's the problem with the A advice and B strategy of doing that. The advice of go through NBMEs, memorize questions because they're, they're gonna repeat. First of all, there may be a handful that repeat and it's not gonna be anywhere near enough that it has any measurable difference on your result. Sure. So sure. if you spend three weeks memorizing 700 questions and five show up on your exam, three weeks for five questions. Not worth it. Think no. about if you would have just identified your weaknesses and spent time studying, you could have answered infinitely more questions based on having studied. So when people give the advice of memorize NBMEs, they are assuming... Like we know some people out there who are YouTubers who say, just memorize old NBMEs. That's all you got to do. They're yeah. assuming that when students memorize questions, they're also digging into the concepts and mastering those. And 99% mm -hmm. of students are not doing that. How do I know this? Well, because how many students call us up or join us after failing? And they said, I listened to XYZ who told me to memorize NBMEs. Sure. Yeah, there's a few questions, but it still didn't pass. And that's why, because there's not that nuanced caveat of make sure you not only memorize the question, but the concept behind the question. So that if there's any other variation of that question, you'll be equipped to answer it. No, they just memorize a question. And then when it's asked from a different angle, it's like, okay, now I'm guessing again. Because yeah. you know, good, it's a waste of time. And, and same thing with actually using this as a strategy. If you are just gonna memorize a bunch of mixed questions, you are not addressing your foundation. Mm -hmm. You're not addressing your weaknesses. No. And so you are, your goal or your goal is to become a physician, make good money, help people. But your strategy to get there is to try and memorize test questions like you did in high school or, or elementary school. So you could pass the test written by the professor who was too lazy to change his questions every year. The USMLE has a QBank pool in the tens of thousands. Yeah. So if Every this day. is your strategy, you could use NBMEs as a, a jumping off point for concepts. For example, okay, this is a question on CHF. Let me go study CHF. This is a question yeah. on um, spinal cord injuries. Let me go study spinal cord injuries. But if you just look and say, this is a CHF question, the answer is furosemide, moving on. What good does that do you? Because it doesn't help you with the, the farm component, the pathophys component, the anatomy component, whatever other components could be included. And so- you know, by all means, go for it. But it is not going to work for the vast majority of students for those reasons I just outlined. And if you take your career seriously and you really want to get to where you want to be, it's it's not the way to actually learn medicine either. You want to yeah. think of yourself as someone who's going to be equipped to handle patients in the future. Now, if I knew that the the per, the surgeon performing heart surgery on my loved one got through board exams by memorizing old questions and didn't really know the stuff, but got lucky. This is theoretically because it would, would never work. Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah, of course. Because not only does it show me that they tried to take the easy way out and, and cut corners, tells me they don't probably know their stuff at the level that would make me feel comfortable. So at the end of the day, I would say this is a terrible idea. I would say it's a bad use of time. There's way better ways to use your time. And if you truly care about your future, it's not the right approach. It's a shortcut that's going to quickly drive you off a cliff. And thoughts, people need to, yeah, I mean, people need to know that NBMEs are a good indication of how well you're prepared for the actual exam. Yeah. But physically, it's not the same style of questions because NBMEs are one to two liners. And then the exam could be two, three paragraphs. So people, I mean, maybe they're not aware of this because they go based upon Reddit and then friends, colleagues, seniors, juniors, whatever. 
But I mean, I have we have students that do well on U World and Amboss because they have a certain style, right? Certain style of questions, and they go taking BIMIs and don't do well. And it's not a large percentage, but that's a few because they're just so used to that style of questioning that they just can't conceptualize. They can't put things together for an BME. So then we say, well, then maybe to 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 acclimate to the style of an BME style questions, right? Instead of ta- instead of doing new ones, you could do old ones. You know, kind of see the structure. But to memorize, it's ridiculous because, like you said before, sweat equity is not worth it. You're going to study all that time to to memorize instead of saying, "Okay, I should know about these concepts," and then take NBMEs to assess my readiness. Yes. Because any one of our students that taken NBMEs, obviously others out there too can can agree. If you do very well and you pass above average, you can pass the test no problem, right? But if you kind of cut corners and skip steps or what you know. What's some highly tested? Everything is tested. I mean, you know, there's some topics that perhaps are not tested as frequently, but think of it this way. You might skip this. You might skip that. You might skip this. Okay. Those three things could pop up somehow in different, different levels. And then Very you start point. losing points left and right. Like, you know, oh, anatomy is not important. I, I know, trust me. I don't like anatomy, but to spend time more on anatomy than farm, I wouldn't. But at the same time, you still have to cover anatomy, embryology, and other biostats, because you don't know two questions here, three questions there, one question on block seven can make you a break on exam day. And that's why people always ask us these questions. You know, what, what's the highly tested? Well, we have concepts that are always provided on the exam. But remember, because we might say this is on the test, it might be the right answer, or maybe one of the answer choices that are incorrect, you see? So in our techniques that we show students with questions training, like we show them how to read the question, how to attack the questions, how to know what the answers are asking of you. And sometimes the techniques come out where you might not know what the question, what the answer is, but by eliminating the other answer choices, there it is. There's your answer right there. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing, but people don't like to do it. They would like to memorize. They want the easy way out. And because of that, people are failing and sad to hear, but it's true. What can you do? I mean, life is going to be hard. So you can either try to take the easy way out during your prep and then suffer the consequences forever, or you can bust your butt during your prep, do it right. And then it'll be easier for you down the road. You just have to pick when do you want it to be hard? It should be now. I tell you one thing, doc, there's not one student we've met, worked with that didn't work hard. These are the ones that jump on board with us. You know, we push them accountability, responsibility, study plans. I mean, they, they know when they get on with us, it's a team. That's why I tell them at the beginning, listen, if you're not ready for this, you can get out because I mean, when you're in, we're, we're full, full force. You know, Dr. Paul and I, since the pandemic, even before, but since the pandemic going extra hard. So, you know, when you're on our team, you know, we always win kind of thing. So mm-hmm. it's like, well, we're in, we're serious, right? So it's a commitment. And those who commit always pass. Those who commit, but then kind of, you know, drift and they don't study, well, then what else do we can't, you know, it's hard for them to pass, right? But for the people that take our, 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 our implement our techniques, our formula, our plans, our advice, there's never a failure because it's struggle. You have to push hard. You have to sacrifice dedication and you never stop. If you stop, you get distracted. Do you feel, you start feeling behind. When you start feeling behind, it's a horrible thing. And I know how you feel, man. You know, what students tell you that oh, I'm behind. You shouldn't be behind. You should have a schedule every day, right? If yeah. you're behind, it sucks to feel behind. If you have to catch up, you can't catch up with step one, guys. You can't really catch up. It's yeah. tough. The last thing I just want to say is, you know, some of the advice we give is different from what you read on Reddit, from what you hear other people say. Our advice is tested over the last 13 plus years since we've been doing this, but we always give reasons why we recommend things. We don't of just course. say, don't do NB, don't do old NBMEs, it's stupid but there's a very specific reason why. So if you are following the advice of someone else, I would recommend that you ask them, what is the underlying reason why you're telling me to do X, Y, Z and see if that makes sense in general and see if it makes sense for you. Because oftentimes people will tell you things and say, well, that worked for me. That is not, and that is not a viable excuse because oftentimes the people giving you advice that seems weird, like memorize every NBME and you'll be good. They're just exceptional test takers, despite they could have yeah. done anything. It worked and they for them. Well. Worked yeah. For them. yeah. So get, if you hear something and it seems too good to be true, get an under an underlying reason why it's being recommended. And if it makes sense for you, good luck. That's cool. Please. But 
Exactly. Don't just dive in because, hey, this sounds like the easy way out. I'm going to do yeah. that. It just that your, your results probably won't be where they need to be. Anyway, anything else yeah. you want to mention on, on this no. one? No, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's one of those things that people, these resources are out there. There's advice everywhere. Just be careful what advice you, you get, you know, from who you get it from. Because Reddit's great to a point, but, you know, you don't know who these people are. And what worked for me when I work for you and vice versa. So that's why everything you said, everything we advise is because we've applied this to our students in all, all aspects, right? Students are in med school now, uh, we're in med school, graduated, you know, not in clinicals, in clinicals. So we advise because we know it works. <laughs> we don't just advise because, hey, it helped us out. No, our students are using it and we are testing things as we go. And that's why we have success. And that's why we hope that students follow our lead because we know it works. But either yeah, way, and, and our, that's a move on, right? And our, yeah, and our advice is typically harder to follow than everything else you see out there. And that's because the hard way exactly. is the way to get results. Anyway, yeah. hopefully that was helpful. See you guys next time. Thanks, Doc. Bye, appreciate guys. It. Thank you, Bye-bye. Doc. I appreciate you. Bye-bye, everybody.